to another episode of Bob Vapes. Thank you very much for joining me today. So yeah, on this episode here, I'll be talking all about why you should uh, shop at your local vape shop. Um, because yes, obviously I'm a shop owner and you know, you do have the whole wide world web to choose from and that. So, you know, what? why should you go into town and uh, venture into your local vape shop so yeah i'll talk a little bit about that and uh, the reasons why i f i feel that you should uh, come and at least pay me a visit anyway um yeah as you can tell i am very very gray now and yes i need a haircut i this is hat hair as well but i'm fully embracing it because you know why not um a little bit on what i'm vaping shock horror custard dynasty it's what happens and also i'm doing a lot of the uh old mouth to lung spearmint at the moment as well because when you need that little bit of extra hit why not and also you know i don't have to blow clouds all the time um uh, so what what have we got in <coughs> this week as well uh well last thursday i believe it was I brought in the gem kit. Now this little uh, little beauty from Inakin is a nice little starter kit. Um, you know, perfect for anyone who is starting out basically or wants something a little bit more uh, stealthy, should I say? Uh, it comes with a nice little nice little uh, tank, goby tank, I believe it's called. Little tiny cool heads uh, that screw into the bottom. It is a top fill, nice and easy, top fill. And also on the device, you have three clicks. And the green indicator basically says it's full and then it will go to amber, then it'll go to red when it needs charging. You also have some little settings so it'll go up to the 13.5 watts all the way down to 10 and don't go any further so it will stop and that is pretty much it so you know it's you do have a little bit of you know more customizable options and that for someone who's just starting out um, but it's not too difficult at all um, so anyone could pick this up and easily vape it and yeah i mean i got them in I sold out of them in like three days so you know clearly I mean I'll put them on the shelf I think it was within 30 seconds someone walked in said oh I want to stop smoking looked at this showed them quickly what it was all about bought it so it was like instantly you know someone said I highly rate them I always highly rate Inakin uh, this is Inakin so uh, you'd always have to excuse the bikes and that I'm afraid um, Lauf has like a little lap around the town centre that kids just love to just race around. That's all they do all day, every day. Round, around, around, around. Yeah. Anyway, on to other news. Uh, Mr. Wix, we got Mr. Wix in as well. Um, a nice a nice brand. Uh, it's cheap, cheap, cheap. Um, so yeah, this and, and a Nick shot is gonna set you back just 10 pounds. And uh, at the moment, we got raspberry lemonade. We got a lemon tart, which is um, very reminiscent of the uh, dinner lady lemon tart. Uh, rhubarb and custard, which is like the rhubarb and custard sweets, and something called unloaded, which is like a mixed berry with a black ta blackjack twist. Uh, they've been going down really well as well, which you know because they're very, very budget friendly. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much um, all of the, what I've got in new at the moment. Um, I will be looking at some other bits at some point uh, so I'll let you know when they do come in uh, so in terms of the uh, main topic and while we're here we do have sorry I'm just getting up some of the notes so the advantages of going to a vape shop why should you bother going into a vape shop when you can do it all online well first one on the list is uh, one on one um you know, online obviously you're just purchasing it's fine and dandy if you know you know exactly what you want to get and that's all you ever get uh and that but 
you know, having that one on one experience and the knowledge on products and everything like that. So especially if you're still fairly new or you don't really know too much about vaping, you know, always being able to just walk in and speak to the person behind the till, ask any questions, no matter how small or how big you think they are. You know, they should always be able to help you and give you clear and concise um, answers back. Um, by the way, I'm also judging this on the fact that, you know, it should be a well-run vape shop. Um, I'd say 95% of vape shops, especially the ones that I've been into, are like this. But you might, you know, you might disagree because, you know, you might have come across a bad one. But, you know, really, you know, th they should be all of what I'm, what I'm talking about today. Uh, so yeah, the knowledge on products, I mean, you know, just even just talking about the battery safety, you know, talking about like with this little kit, how you'd work it, everything like that. If you would just literally buy this online, you could have had it on, you know, the highest setting, you could have had the airflow, you know, too far open, you, you're trying it, you're not really getting on with it very well, you don't know why, you just leave it to the side and then you probably don't go back to vaping. Uh, so, you know, having that one on one you know can help that transition a lot easier as well for you um or even if you're just upgrading you have been vaping for a little while you want to upgrade you just want to understand you know how you would upgrade what what sort of um devices that would suit you and for your juices that you have uh, everything like that as well so you know that always helps um testing liquids um you know, if you're wanting to venture out and to try new liquids or anything like that, um, you know, here you're you're able to test any of the liquids that you so wish to, you know, purchase or you're interested in. You're thinking, oh, you know what, I wouldn't mind trying that lemon tart. I hear loads of people talk about the lemon tart. Well, you can try it here before you buy. So that's always a bonus as well. Um, because sometimes something might sound really, really nice. I mean, I rave about this custard all the time. Yet yeah, one of my uh, regular customers, he, he just can't stand it. So his taste is very subjective. Um, but he's wrong anyway. This is clearly an amazing juice. Uh, see and hold uh, products and that that you're interested in as well. I mean, you know, if you was to shop online or anything, obviously in that they're going to have uh pictures to make the mod you know look really fancy and everything like that um but you don't quite get the size or anything you know and also even if you was just to look you know with me looking at it on you know on the youtube or anything like that it's always better sometimes to actually pick it up and feel it you know how does it feel in the hand uh how heavy is it you will you get on with it will it fit in your pocket okay can you carry it about all that type of thing you know that can sometimes make a big difference um I, I remember ages ago before obviously i was going to the shops or anything i was looking at this device i really liked the look of the device and then when i finally ordered it and got it to me uh, you know i was really disappointed in the end because i sort of held it for for like half a day and i was just like oh, this is too big and clunky for me i can't do anything with it so i ended up selling it on so yeah, that's something else that, you know, just to bear in mind. Uh, quick dealings with uh, product faults and stuff like that. Uh, the, nearly 98% of the mods, or not 100% from here anyway, would all come uh, manufactured from China. Uh, they come off, you know, big production lines, everything like that. So every now and then you're going to get a dud. You're going to get something that doesn't work exactly how it's intended or anything like that. If you was to purchase from the shop, you keep your receipt in your box. Um, they should be able to deal with it pretty quickly. Um, we, we hold an in-house uh, three-month warranty uh, for ourselves. So it just gives you a bit of peace of mind. Anything that goes wrong within that time, uh, you can always bring it in. We can exchange it or we can go through it as well with you. So we can go through and troubleshoot. Sometimes it can be user error or anything like that. So it's always nice to be able to just get it sorted instantly. You buy it online, you're going to have to, you know, have to pay for the returns. Uh, they're going to have to check it over. Then they're going to have to come back to you and tell you what they're doing, uh, whether you're going to get your money back, whether they're going to exchange it or anything like that. And then, so, you know, you can be without your device for a week or even longer sometimes, depending on, you know, what's wrong or anything like that. So being able to just walk straight into your shop and just be like, oh, this is not working. Can you help me out? 
you know, is, uh, you know, clearly an advantage as well. And also what I would say is, you know, being online, you are going to get cheaper uh, products. That's just the, the nature of the business and that they don't have the same overheads as we do in, in shops and stuff like that. But also take into account that most companies will charge you extra for like postage again on the returns or anything like that. So sometimes what might seem like you're saving yourself maybe five, 10 quid. If you add up the postage cost postage costs or if you was to return it or anything like that, that can all add up. So you can end up paying exactly the same or even more. But you you are obviously having to wait for that device and you get some of the negatives as well from buying online. Um, I've also added in a uh, community aspect as well because yeah I mean well I've got a lounge here um, this is something that I've really liked since I've started vaping uh, you do get a real nice community sort of sense as you're walking into the shop I have a lot of people that are sitting down having a vape and when other customers are coming in even sometimes when new customers are coming in maybe the customers will sort of chirp up and say you know oh I like this one I like how you know and how how vaping helped me you know which is great because you know like I you know it's all good coming from me when I'm trying to sell something to someone but sometimes it's even better when it comes from a customer you know with like all that positive feedback and stuff because you know uh, as a customer yourself you probably trust the other customer more than you would the guy trying to sell you the the, the stock um, but yeah, that they they do that just off off their own back because we're all trying to do the same thing. We're all just trying to get off cigarettes, so everyone sort of feels a little bit more passionate about it. We all can share stories, um, you know, how we did it, um, how long we was in the transition, did we carry on smoking for a bit, all that type of thing. We've all got slightly different stories to tell when it comes to that sort of stuff. So that's you know another thing that you can add when going into some some shops is getting other people's ideas. There they go again. Round, around, around. Um, and also, you know, you are helping local shops, uh, local economy. You know, like with myself, um, I'm a one, you know, one man band. Um, so you know, it's, you, you're helping contribute. You know, you're helping me. You're helping my uh, my family, my business, everything like that. You're helping the community, keeping shop little shops open. Uh, which um, you know nearly all the vape shops up and around uh, across the UK and that are all you know sort of independently owned or even if they've got you know a few now as like a little chain still it's been like one guy like say like myself who's sort of worked his way up and you know sort of expanded from there um, so yeah you, you know you are helping that you're helping keeping you know your local town shops open keeping thriving business going as well you know which i think you know it can be important for for the economy and everything like that as a whole and also lastly what i will say is um you can't haggle online either as well so you know if you are finding a product uh, that you really like the look of and they've got it in the store and that you know not not saying in that that you're going to haggle them down to exactly like for the online price um because again you know sometimes and i've seen stock going online for you know what i'm paying for wholesale and that is ridiculous sometimes but you know you, you you can have the opportunity sometimes to to just haggle down a little bit you know if you if you're seeing that that they want to push through the uh sale or anything like that you know then why not you know you can you can only ask sometimes now you know depending on who's serving you or anything it might be out of their power or you might be asking a little bit too much so they can't do it you know because it could be making a loss or anything like that but you know it's, it, it can be worth uh, giving it a shot you know it's, I've got x amount here what can you do for me that type of thing sometimes you can uh, push for a, a decent bargain just by doing that so yeah the they're my reasons I would say for giving us vape shops uh, a good you know a good thought when whenever you're thinking of purchasing you know your your hardware or your e-liquid or anything like that so i i hope you found this uh, video at all helpful or interesting uh thanks again to everyone who has already liked subscribed and everything like that very much appreciated uh, so if you are a new new watcher and you do like what you see please give us a thumbs up please give us a subscribe uh keep this channel growing that would be absolutely awesome so yeah 
Uh, until next time, everyone. Bye-bye.